damn it. Fucking ball smartwatch. I look good. I look good, right? Yeah. <laughs>
you know, and so people uh, feel strongly moved by it. You know, the same way they feel strongly moved by, you know, someone's music, um, by a, a famous actor, a famous painter, Bob Ross. I've seen plenty of Bob Ross tattoos now. Um, so I don't know, I just didn't get it, but let's just get into the, the bitter comments about the fatherless behavior. Ironically, all of the women in their shaming for doing something like this, for commemorating uh, Kevin Samuels with a tattoo and shaming men uh, for being fatherless for that, it, it proves Kevin Samuels' message right, all the way down to the grave. So you're still shaming men for what they want to do, for what they choose to do, what they like to do. And, you know, sometimes it feels like, you know, men can't have nothing that they want to enjoy. It honestly feels like that sometimes. And, you know, and if the female population doesn't like it, then you're not allowed to enjoy it, unfortunately. Let me touch on this. We want to crucify men for not having fathers in their lives, but in the same sense, we also want to shame them for looking up to male figures or having male role models and calling them fatherless and shaming them for that. You know, it's either one, but it's either you want one or the other. You know, you can't in one sense, you know, shame men for not having a father. And then in another sense, shame men for having someone who was father life or a role model. You can't have it both ways. I think the fatherless problem is a larger issue within the black community. I personally was raised with my father, uh, but I can tell you, he didn't have all the tools. And along my journey, it needed to be supplemented by other father-like figures. You know, rather that's, uh, you know, I can remember a store manager I had at one point taught me a lot of lessons about leadership, you know, um, or whether it's somebody like uh, like a Kevin Samuels that's teaching you how to move with dating out here, how to pull yourself up, you know, go out here and become high value, contribute to society, you know, things of that nature. All that to say that some of us, even with fathers, we still don't get everything that we need to be equipped. And, uh, and especially uh, black men in America, we've been impacted uh, from slavery to mass incarceration you know the the list goes on so a lot of us have not had a father sadly ha have not gotten this game pushed down to us i watched a video uh by the roommates uh, where hafiz had did a take on kevin samuel's death and he had mentioned how we're losing a lot of our um, older um, wiser black men to teach us uh, about being a man and, and masculinity and how to move out here, but we're losing a lot of them due to uh, heart disease and we're losing them early. When I see, uh, you know, black women and black men um, shaming other black men for not having a father, um, some of that is true, man. Some of it is true. Uh, and the leaders that we do have you know, the, the black male role models that, that stand for something and fall for nothing, we're losing those. We're constantly losing them. You know, it, it skews some of us for looking up to a male role model who has came in and taught us some things. Whether you agree with Kevin or disagree with him, uh, the fact remains is that Kevin wasn't all bad as all of us uh, are just a, a basket of conflicts, right? Or even, hypocrisy you know we all have our our goods and our bads our downfalls our wins you know and Kevin was the same way right he wasn't all bad he taught a lot of us how to dress look better um, things to watch out for when you're dating how to come out here and 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 get off your ass and work 60 hours a week and uh and to make something of yourself you know he he didn't let you sit around and 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 complain and crawl into a hole and woe is me you know yourself to death he didn't do it he didn't let you do any of that sadly to me it just seems like the idea of just a, a strong man who stood on something in the black community was just foreign to us and 
we didn't appreciate it. You know, we have too many men out here right now that are just pandering, 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 and they'll bend, fold, wrap themselves into a damn pretzel, you know, depending on which way the wind blows. But Kevin was one of those type of guys who just did not do that for nobody. He stood on what he believed in. And as a man, that's what connects. I also think part of the pushback from the women is because, you know, look, some of these women didn't have fathers either. You know, the fathers were out, out of their homes. They don't know what masculine men look like. You know, it, it's holding you accountable. With all the things that Kevin has done for men, uh, especially with trying to light a fire up under their asses, like, isn't that what we want? We want more men who have gotten the game from the older men, right? To straighten themselves up, to go out here and be something. You know, that's for you ladies. That's for y'all. To get a, a, a man who is completed, who is emotionally matured, knows what he wants, he's decisive, assertive, and he doesn't make excuses for himself. That's what we want, right? I, Kevin was doing what he set out to do, and it was for the good, it was for the betterment of the community. You know, I'm not here to try to convince you of anything, but all I'm saying is uh, Kevin's message was true through and through. It resonated through and through. And, uh, and for him to be in the grave now and the message is still resonating and it's still fulfilling itself it's almost prophetical like i'm not gonna lie you know and, and you know and some of the fellas they know what i'm talking about like because we can step back and see some of this stuff taking place right it's all just coming full circle it's crazy i'm not here to call kev uh or band band man kev dumb for what he did or anything because again it's nothing new right and uh, I I'm just a little disappointed by the shaming. And uh, and it's only because of whose name is attached to it. You know, it. you know, it's just strange. Kevin's message has been around for a very long time. I've been in part of some of these uh, these these uh, mental sphere type of spaces for over 10 years now. And, uh, and that message is not new. That, that thing is old as time. And the only reason why it's uh, as mainstream as it is now or as widespread as it is now uh, is because of the internet and the power of the internet and growing communities. I've always said this, but I think women need to focus less on who is delivering the message and how it's being delivered and more on the fact of why is this message connecting with so many men? Something to think about. Because even though he's gone, the men still believe this wholeheartedly. All right, guys, I'm out. This was a different type of video. It was uh, it was more sincere, uh, more serious. It, it wasn't as goofy as, uh, as some of my other videos, but I just had to get this off my chest. And, um, you know, it had to do with art a little bit, just a little bit. But, you know, I, again, you know, I, I promise to uh, I promise to keep this channel mainly art. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to veer off into some topics sometimes. And uh, and that's what I've done here. So anyway, I'm out of here. Uh, like my last video, um, it is, it'll be, the link will be over here. The video is about, damn. What's that last video about? Yeah, okay, y'all. All right, so let me try this again. All right, guys, I'm out. Uh, check out my last video on uh, companies that are de-branding. Uh, where I go into like, you know, companies that are uh, minimizing their logos and, and getting more to a minimalist look with their design. Uh, so lots of good information over there. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this uh, in the comments section. And, uh, and if you guys were Kevin Samuels watchers, um, especially the fellas here, uh, just let me know down in the comments what he meant to you. Uh, he, he meant a good deal to me. I mean, he, he's just an you know, another man coming through and, and telling you to, uh, to get it together, you know, and it, it's a good message to hear every once in a while. So, all right, guys, well, I'm out. You know, what's up? Your personal design day. You want that? Nah, you, you, you don't want it this time. You don't want it this time. I, I'm going to save it for next time. Yeah, you don't deserve it.